You got him gone. You got him gone. That was a song by JL. Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Rob Dorsey here with my main man. Nerd up, JL. And we from the Beats and Brews podcast. If you haven't known, well, you should know because you just clicked on it. Just wanted to give you all a heads up. The camera stopped recording on us. And, you know, we got a partial video for you again, but it's all good because you're going to still like it. All right? But anyway, stay cool, nerd up, like, share, comment, and thank you for watching. Nerd up. Action. played out yo what's up good people it's your boy rob dorsey here man nerd up jail you know what i'm saying you know what we do this here is the beats and brews podcast um let me see something real quick how can we do it this nah, it's all right they can hear us either way check it out man we got a new special episode for y'all today this is number 12 right here you know what i'm saying and we back with one of our favorite breweries lagunitas Brewing, you know what I mean, up in PA, no, it's California, over in California, and uh, we got one of their, it started off as a limited release, actually. California and Chicago. In Chicago, Shy town stand up, word, West Side, baby, baby, all right, but, <laughs> so, real quick, though, before we get too far into it, uh, y'all might be wondering, why the hell is Rob Dorsey wearing sunglasses? He don't never wear sunglasses. He always look weird as hell with sunglasses on. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, man. It's a personal reason, and it 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 it's be it's because I'm having some light sensitivity issues stemming from some neck injury stuff that I got going on. But in anyway, you know, we are here for the dopest beer and the dopest conversations that you will hear on Straight Tuesdays. Up. Word, you know what I mean. So, Jo, how your day been going, man? Oh man, cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. You been chilling? Yeah. Word, word. Jo about to get a crib, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You about to, about to, about to be, uh, uh, George and Weezy in that thing. You mm -hmm. feel me? <laughs> Moving on up. Word. It's a, it's a good thing, man. Congratulations. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. Word, everybody, make sure y'all show love to Jay, man. You know what I mean? He been working hard, boy. Working hard. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we salute that. We salute that over here at the Beats and Brews podcast. You know, but, um, so, what what, what we got going on, man? We got, we got Lagunitas uh, Brown Sugar. Mmm, Brown Sugar, bad. Brown Sugar L. Mmm. Is this another, another situation there? No, oh, they do got a little story up there. 9.7 by volume. Mmm. 9.7? 51.1 IBU. Oh, they put the IBUs on there? Yeah. Word, that's love. Uh, OG, what's that? That's the original gravity. Okay, okay. Yeah. 1.1. 1.10, oh, okay. That's what it is. And then uh, their joints are along the sides. Yeah. That's always cool. Says we believe this special oil was something unique, feeding brown cane sugar to otherwise cultured breweries, is akin to feeding raw shark to your gerbil. To what? Raw. <laughs> it's akin to feeding raw shark to your gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> it is unlikely to ever occur in nature without human intervention, mm. and it looks weird. Besides. But it has happened, and now it's too late. Mm -hmm. That's about it. That's it on that one. Beer speaks, people mumble. Oh, only mumble rappers mumble. <laughs> well, all right. So I'm, 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 I'm sitting here thinking, you know, what does this beer have in it, you know? I yeah. say, you got, it. excuse me. It says brown cane sugar. Oh yeah, that's it? I mean. 
Oh man, they got they got ninety points on their rating for this one. Yeah, this 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 is the shit. That's what's up. It usually comes out in the winter, but you know, it's what is this right now? Spring? Summer? Is it summer? Hey, summer till June, cuz. Well, I mean, <laughs> it is warm. Heat filling out this stuff. <laughs> See, they had, hold on, where'd it go? Because there was, they had the, what you call it on here? The description on here. It's American style strong ale, which is bananas. They're always crazy. That's why it's 9%, because like, those joints were bananas. Only one. All right, well, anyway, man, they don't have too much information online about this beer, about what they brewed it with, what hops or whatever, anything like that. So we're going to get into it and see if we can just pick it apart with the nose and with the with the, with the, uh, with the the tasting. You know what I mean? So, very crack these things, cuz? Yeah, let's get a crack. Swing. Said the like niggas like to swing. Said the like niggas like to swing. Smell good. Yeah. Mmm. I got. I got a feeling it might be some Amarillo in there, man, or maybe some German Hall Mullen, uh, hops. You know. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Word. <laughs> Like it's it's a strong L nine point seven, but you can't even really Nah. Yeah, you know? This is this is one of them joints. It's not bitter at all. Right, it ain't bitter. You know what I'm saying? Don't got a bitter finish. Yeah, yeah. it's sweet. Yeah. Dang. And not only that, it uh the the you don't really get the high alcohol, mm-hmm. uh, you know, how, how it usually is. Like, if you got a beer with high alcohol, it'll be like uh, just a gas gas explosion in your mouth. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> it's just, it, it overpowers the beer flavor sometimes, but they got a real good flavor on this one. You know? It's definitely a sipper right here. Yeah. Take another look real quick. Like, I need this brown sugar in case you want to go get it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Um... So, of course, straight off the front of it, um, when you see the title or when you see the name of it, what pops in your mind? <laughs> I mean, what you mean as far as hip hop? Music. I mean, music, period. And of course, D'Angelo. I yeah. Mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I, I mean. That song is playing in my head right now. You it is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brown sugar, babe. Gets high off your love. Don't know how to behave. Mm-hmm. No son of your brown sugar. Y'all ain't know. Y'all, ain't, y'all didn't know. So, uh, <laughs> but what? who 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 would be on the hip-hop side of that? Uh, I don't even know. I don't know either. Brown sugar. Hmm. Um... Who has a song in hip hop with brown sugar in it? I know they did that whole movie Brown Sugar where they was you know it was an homage I mean, yeah, to hip hop. Yeah, yeah, shit, that's it right there. That was good. Brown Sugar, that was a good movie. Had most deaf in there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, right? Was, was, was she, she in there? Was she in there? I don't think so. Not that I can remember. So not late than Tate Diggs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. See if she was in there. Tay Diggs. I might be tripping, but I felt like she was in there. Queen Latifah? Yeah. Casting crew of brown sugar. Yeah, there she go right there. Yeah, I know she was in there. Mm Mm-hmm. Francine. Word up. And then most Def, he was like, he was a taxi driver, but he ended, he was like a, a spitter on the low. Yeah. And they, none of them knew or whatever. And Tay Diggs was managing this, what was he called, the Dalmatians or something like that? 
<laughs> yeah, I ain't seen that movie in so long. It's crazy. Yeah, it is. The hip-hop Dalmatian is making this terrible music. And then he hears most Def's demo in the chat in the cab. And he's like, yo, who's that? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? And you know most Def, yeah, that's, that, mm-hmm. that's me. That's me. You, you know what I'm saying? That is me. Yeah, most Def, man. <laughs> Word. Did they yeah, let him back in the country? I believe so. That's what's up. Word. He did too much for the. Well, I can't say he did too much for the country. He did too much for the culture and for him to be ostracized like he was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially with him, the people in the elite got the same passport that he was using. You know what I'm saying? To travel. So don't be like that. Just you know, show love. Anyway, mm-hmm. yeah, this one right here, man. The. Uh, when we draw the relation with that movie, it does open up a good conversation for the uh, the uh, the uh, popcorn in hip hop today versus the the buzzing underground and where it meets too, because you know you got some artists that that actually uh, bring that underground feel to the mainstream, you know, with with uh, with quality. But also with a little bit of commercialism, but not like overwhelming commercialism, you know. Like Kendrick is a very good example yeah. of that, you know. And and he keeping it all the way black, man. <laughs> he keeping it brown sugar, baby. Wow. <laughs> Definitely. Word. So, you know, salute to him. Especially that new album, man. You know. That album, Brown Sugar All Over, ain't it? What's your favorite joint off of there? Uh, let me see. Oddly, I listen to uh, Duckworth a lot. That joint's hot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because he, it's, you know, he giving you the that. paying you the picture. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, how Top Dog and his pop. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, connecting and meeting each other and then, you know, him being... End result to uh to their you know friendship and you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. It's dope, like you know what I mean. It's telling you the story, but of course, man, damn near every song on that album is a go. You know what I mean? Yeah, everyone is a go. Not damn near. <laughs> you know but uh, that of course everybody's favorite. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, humble, humble and uh. DNA? Yeah, but yeah, I like that love joint too with my man on there. Saying that I thought it was weekend at first. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You ever heard that song on there? Nah, I didn't hear that. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, it's dope. Mm. Who else got that brown sugar, man? Mm. I want to say J Cole got the brown sugar vibe. Yeah, you gotta say I, I can't leave out my dog while I lay either, man. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? definitely that got that shit. You know what I mean? That new track is dope, man. You know uh, what I'm saying? Uh, Fashion Week. Mm-hmm. I really like that joint, man. It take me back to the Pretty Girls days. Right. Because, like, while while they lost me for excuse me, for a little bit, it was just like... I think he got his frustrations as an artist, but you know that's understandable. You know oh, yeah. Mean? Yeah, and it ain't Especially about when you... You know, it's like a, when you as passionate as you are about... <clears throat> yeah. You know what I mean? Your craft and... Mm-hmm. It, you know what I mean? It seems... Somewhat overlooked or you know what I mean yeah I feel like it's he knew what he could he knew he knows what he's able to do right he wants people to uh, take that and accept it right and you know give him the credit for it the thing is he gotta do it first you know what I'm saying right. like he, see I think my fault uh, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, I think he falls into uh, uh, the space and and where it's like, and I respect him for it because, like you say, nobody capable of doing right. Mm-hmm. And it's some things where, like you know, he could be doing what everybody else is doing, but mm-hmm. you know, I mean, just to get that uh, that extra, which he did, but it didn't you know what work though. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah. And then. I think I think I just think that he found 
a space where, you know, like he's seen that he's not going to uh, compromise, you know what I mean? Yeah. With, you know what I mean, his craft for... For popularity. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Following the trend of, you know what I'm saying? I think that's why I like Fashion Week so much because he really got back into his core sound, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And it fit. It fit a lot. And it's it's fresh and it's, it's cool for the time that we in. You know, and you know what too? Uh, that uh, what was what's the name of that album? The one he did with Seinfeld. Um, another album about nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Um, now see, that's another thing where he felt like just having Seinfeld alone mm-hmm. is a big thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is within itself, and it is that would bring that mass popularity thing. But mm-hmm. that album didn't hit his target, you know what I'm saying? Right. And it kind of went overlooked, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, that's definitely a frustration, I know, i seen, and i seen that he talked about. But, um, one of the dopest songs on that uh, album was uh, White Shoes. That's, mm-hmm. that's like, that's a dope-ass song. You ever hear that, joint? Yeah. I didn't even hear that album. Yeah, check that song out, man. It's, um, it's basically, a, uh, we're going to pull up the video, too. But um, it's basically about, you know, kids in the hood, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. Like, you go throughout life, you know, for these J's, you know what I'm saying? These J's is like the... Oh, yeah, you that's know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, I seen that. You, you know what I mean? Me, yeah, you put me on that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Then in the end of the video, the young boy gets, you know what I mean? Yeah, he gets shot. They take his sneaks from him, and you know what I mean. And it was a deep message behind it. You know what I mean. Did he get shot, or did he did he go back and shoot them? Nah, they they. I don't even know if he was shot. I know they. I think he was killed over his sneakers or something like that, though. Yeah. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But he grinded his way all the way up just to. You yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. You feel me? Yep. It was dope, though, man. That's wild. So yeah. Let's see who else got some. Uh, some of that brown sugar. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, man. Would you would you say uh chance? Yeah, I mean I guess I don't I, I'm not <laughs> I haven't really I, I'm aware of chance music but I haven't tuned in. Yeah. Like on a mixtape or al- album, you know what I'm saying? I right. You feel me? But he's yeah. definitely a dope artist, you know what I mean? But yeah. I, I, I would I would say that though. I would I would I would give him that, you know what I mean? Just from the things that I did here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Childish Gambino. Definitely Gambino. Um Three Stacks. Man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Common. Yeah, straight up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, you know common. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where common sense. Uh uh-huh. Who else, man? Excuse me. Um, shoot. I don't know. That's all I that's all I'm gonna give up. Yeah. Yeah, everybody else. <laughs> if you if you could think about, you know, an artist that represents that brown sugar, that that sweetness, that soul, you know what I'm saying? That 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 dope spirit, you know what I mean? Any artists that you think of, put them in the comments. Yeah. Let me know something. Like and subscribe too, man. Yes, please, man. Like, Spread the word about the nerd. Share. You know, getting some good love, man. I put up the other, put up the video yesterday, episode 11, and um, we hit uh, 20, 20 yesterday. I only asked for 10 and we hit 20. I asked right. for, asked for 10, 10 views and five more subscribers. <laughs> To put us at 15 and we got two subscribers to put us at 12 and 20 views <laughs> mm-hmm. so yeah it's been cool man you know what i mean we're getting some love and you know i'm ready to start generating some steam man you know and trying to hear back from y'all you know every everything that we do get back though is positive and that's awesome you know people just say uh this is dope you know what i mean and uh, that's really good. And we really appreciate that, you know? 
But I gotta tell you, I do gotta tell you, this beer is delicious. Word right up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Real shit. I feel like. Shout out Lagunitas. Yeah, Lagunitas, man. Y'all always on the ball. Lagunitas never really let you down, man. Never, man. I can't really say I had a Lagunitas that I didn't appreciate. It <laughs> works. <laughs> Yeah, they just give you quality every time. You know what I mean. I want to do. They got a uh, like a a, a, a bar. They Not do. A, you know what I'm saying? They but, do. Uh, My boy Peace Mom went went out there. We're in Cali. To, yeah. Okay. She was like, she was they telling me the story. Got one in Chicago too, huh? I don't know, but the story she was telling me, man, like. They, she said, you can't see it from the street. Is it a pub or is it just a? It's a big ass compound. Like so, they like they have food in there too. <laughs> yeah, Man, that's so it. They, they got like a labyrinth, like with, with We gotta bushes. put that on the list then when we when we take our trip yeah, to Cali. Like it out there, man. Yo, who gonna pay for our trip to California? Let me know, man. Put it in the comments. What is that? <laughs> in the comments. Petaluma. Yeah. Petaluma. Where's that at? Oh, where's that at? I think it's in Southern Cali. I don't know. I ain't even gonna guess. It. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even gonna guess. Cause that. Is, Embarrass myself, you know. Yeah, man. Uh, we might set up a GoFundMe or something. Mm-hmm. Take this, take this camera on the road and shit. Word. You know what I mean? <laughs> beats and brews. Bring y'all to the uh, the beats and brews cruise. You know. Word. Cruise with beats so and brews. Might go out there with Lagunitas. Go to the motherfucking uh, the pub. Yeah, man. Explore around. Hit people up like it gotta hit y'all up like yo can we come through mm-hmm. do a podcast interview you guys uh matter of fact if you watching because i'm gonna tag you lagunitas uh can we come on out there do a podcast boost what y'all got going well you can't boost it because you know y'all got more followers than we got but every little bit helps right you know what i'm saying you already got you got two little customers on the team, so why not just you know allow us to come in and uh, get some footage of you guys doing some cool stuff and uh, put it out for you. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? All for the love, cause that's what that's what we operate through. You know, we love beer and we love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody that hears us, we love you, man. Where probably not as much as the beer, but. Be a close second. <laughs> Where? But yeah, guys, so. What you want to do with the rest of this, man? I don't know about you, but. I'm going to take it down. You going to take it down? Damn yeah, right. I'm going to take it down too, cuz. So. Let's go ahead and uh, tell these good people out here. You know. To have a good day. Have a cold one. Like, share, and comment. And most of all, nerd up. Nerd up. You know nerd what I'm up. Saying? <laughs> so, thanks for watching, y'all. This is episode 12. You know, Lagunitas Brown Sugar. And we representing those people in hip hop and, you know. Don't forget movies. anybody that we uh, missed out on a comment, man. Yeah. Sure, we missed a whole bunch of people. Straight up. Because there's a lot of brown sugar out there. <laughs> but, you know. Once again, I got to shout out Lauren Hill one more time, too. Lauren Hill, yeah. Definitely brown sugar. Straight up. Can't brown. go out without saying that. That's very true. Word. That should be our sign-off from now on. Every every show we sign off with saying Lauren Hill. Word. <laughs> <laughs> Word. <laughs> Word, man. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Stay cool and nerd up. It's your boy, Rob Dorsey. Nerd up, J.L. <laughs>